Hold up. What a do. Music corner. I like to welcome everybody out tonight. Welcome all the new marathon members to the experience of a lifetime. I need y'all hands up though. Yeah. Look, no, I don't want your love. That's not why I make music. I owe myself. I told myself back then that I would do this. And I always look so out of reach and just seem so confusing. That I found my place in life, a young black man that seems so useless. And I don't want no help. Just let me suffer through this. The world would not know Jesus Christ if there was never Judas. This knife that's in my back would be the truth that introduced us. And the distance in between us is the proof of my conclusion. So, life is real quick, I want to do a quick experiment. So you can feel what I'm talking about, okay? All experiences happen in the now moment. Your past experiences, when they happen, happen in that now moment. Your future experiences will happen in that now moment. And you're experiencing something, you're experiencing something right now, right? So right now, I want you guys to think to yourself really quick what you're experiencing. Take five seconds and just think to yourself what you're experiencing. If you guys actually did it, you would have realized you failed. Because when you want to tell yourself what you're experiencing, it wasn't the now moment anymore. It's what you're experiencing a moment ago. And it gets worse than that. It wasn't even what you're experiencing a moment ago because a moment ago no longer exists as an experience. It's a memory of experience. It's a concept of experience. It's what you said about the experience. Find something that you will die for. The mind... It's a, it's a survival thing. It wants to survive, right? When you're clear about what's bigger than you, your kids, a mission, your purpose, when you're actually clear about that thing, it's easy to override those, those mechanisms. We're always at our potential, but only up to our mindset ceiling. Another word we like to use is your perception of the world, right? And so one way to, to, to prove that idea is if I go to toss this at this gentleman here, he might just go to catch it and it's just an easy catch for you, right? But if I go to chuck this thing from this close to this, what are you going to do? You know, put your hands up, try to duck. <laughs> we see how the world looks to him, right? She takes care of him. <laughs> your experience and your actions are consistent with each other. And they've proven this in neuroscience. The same brain patterns that are uh, controlling action are connected and networked with the same brain patterns that control perception and your experience. Saying what you're going to do, right? But there's so many times that we say we're going to do something or we say we're going to achieve something. And I'm not saying that we're always going to achieve what we say we are just based on language. But I'm going to give you guys a secret and an advantage to increase the possibility for that. So once we create the outcome we want in language, we need to be able to move in that space of possibility so that the percentage of our desired outcome is higher than the percentage of not achieving that outcome. That's what we're trying to do. A lot of times we fall out of integrity because we're afraid how we look to others. But if we are going to fix our word and actually do what we told someone we were going to do, then all we have to do is tell them, hey, I'm going to do it by this day, or I can't do it, and this is what I'm going to do to help or fix how I impact and messed up your schedule and your life and your performance by not showing up and doing what I said I was going to do. When you apply this to your life and intend your language, you will literally be creating the performance you desire which will get you the outcome you guys want. Thank you guys so much for having me. I appreciate it so much. Now, there are six aspects to your word, and I share those in my book. I know you guys think. Thank you. Shout out my big bro, Black Shane. Shout out my nigga, Fats. Shout out my bro, Adam. Shout out my a -Bs. You know what this is. It's the motherfucking marathon. This shit ain't gonna stop, man. One hundred.